Oh shit. And going through another film, old footage last night, um, I was um, frame by frame, you know, scrubbing the studio. And I saw this, like, we'll call it the mother, these are dimensional birds. The mother bird, which you wouldn't see, you know, unless you really knew you were looking at it. And that's what I was looking at for filming, but I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just a tree or whatever. No, it was a humongous, humongous freaking head of a bird. I mean, it like took up the whole screen. And um, that's why uh, I think I saw on the mountain that one time when it just dropped out of the trees. And I heard that, oh my God, it was so loud and so huge and it was covering the whole, there's, you know, a hole in the tree line for, well, we were working on the car outside for like five hours, so I just got tired of sitting there and just dropped, you know, and, um, Billy didn't see it, it was Billy at the time, he did not see it because he was, his back was toward it, but I saw the whole thing, I'm like, that thing was the size of a house, the whole house, this thing, this, this bird, and one swoop, and it was all the way to the top of the mountain. And ironically enough, a week later, there was a newspaper article from a Pico, which is the local electric company. A line man had reported a sighting of a pterodactyl. Now, that's pretty credible, you know. I mean, that's what he thought it, he, he saw something rather large, and I mean, to come out and say that, risking his job and all, is pretty, not to mention his reputation, is pretty uh, incredible to me. I'm like, see, I told you so. And then there was that crow one from Sellersville, the other place, um, where the crows went crazy, and I saw the head coming out, and it was, it was the size of the whole the top to the top of the building, but only the neck could could I see. And you know me, I won't say anything without backing it up. Look at that! What are you doing? Are you putting a mask on? You see the two um, white holes right there, in the leaves right there. It looks like something just put a mask on. Now this is a dry creek pipe. I'm going to a little bit. Hold on. Bear with me for one second. This is not going quite as far as I would have liked it to have gone. What is that? Okay, I see an eyeball. Now, that looks to me to be two trees, one behind each other. Now, it might be an optical illusion, I'm not sure. I'm interested in... Yeah, see, it's getting ghostly. To the right of the black tree. We're on, in the black tree itself. It's getting ghostly. Oh, where the eye is. Now it's forming something else. I can see a mouth on us. And now I heard something. <laughs> right there. The, now the whole face came out. Okay, okay, it's going. Something else is going on now. We got the hair. Um, let me just see this up because the screen is open. Better than I lost it, right? There we go. 
until you take your eye off the birdie, so to speak, and they are gone. I can never find them. 